Late hours of the night arrive. It's time to sleep. Worry begins to creep into the hearts of parents. Sleep is a different experience for them than it is for most of us. To them, it doesn't mean the place where children feel safe and warm. Instead, it's a burden and a feeling of helplessness that's repeated every night. But why? War passed through here. It distorted places and changed the way of life. It didn't stop there and instead left its mark on every aspect of life. In this isolated place, where there is little support left, families in northern Syria are forced to live. Before it was marred by missiles and shells, buildings were buzzing with the sounds of kids at school. Children here are forced to sleep on one mattress. The last thing they see every day before they sleep are the ruins of the shelled school. It is not only the terrifying sight of the walls in the room that they're sleeping in that disturbs these children. It's the cold as well. Hassan and his brother Uday live here. They don't like anything in this place. The classroom that they sleep in is cold. They're afraid of the dark here. They both ask, for how long? <laughs> Hassan and Uday struggle with this every night. 13-year-old Ahmad Ghattash's experience in Idlib isn't much different. This child has experienced hardship since the beginning of his life. He was displaced from his home in rural Damascus. He moved to northern Syria to live with his family in an abandoned olive oil mill. Ahmad lives in a small room with his family. There is not much in it besides a few blankets and a tattered mattress. Ahmed holds on to his dream of finishing his education. But every day, he pays a heavy price to pursue an education. Despite his health condition, he walks 5 kilometers to the closest school every morning. When we met Ahmad, he was trying hard not to lose his composure and cry in front of his dad and brother. But this child had other hardships that made him sob. Human rights organizations estimate that the number of destroyed houses in Syria has reached 3 million. It's what forces millions to live in these bitter conditions. Nahar is one of the children that is living out their childhood in a camp. Sleeping in a tent is a nightmare for Nahar. He hopes to one day return to his home where he used to find heat and safety. هون الدنيا باردة ما بحسن بنام والماء يتمر من تحتانا والخيمة باردة Not far from Nahar sits 11-year-old Amina in her tent covering her body from the bitter cold She's very particular about keeping her sleeping space inside the tent tidy but no matter what she does she and her family worry about the rain this worry has even reached Amina's dreams. She often wakes up terrified when she dreams that the rainwater has flooded her tent and surrounded her sleeping space. We asked her, what is your dream? She answered, By United Nations, estimates half of Syria's population was forcibly displaced 
The number of internally displaced people has reached 6.7 million, 2.5 million of whom are children. Hassan, Uday, Nahar, Amina, and other Syrian children dream. They dream that a day will come where they do not fear sleep, that they will be blessed with a night where they aren't shaking with cold, that instead they fall asleep with sweet dreams, just like other children do.